So hi guys, my name is Nancy Mogoro from Brighter Monday, Tanzania and today I would like to show you how the filtering tool works on our applicant tracking system uh, in an employer's account on Brighter Monday. So the very first thing an employer is supposed to do to access that tool is to log in in their employer account. So I'm going to log in right now. I have already filled, out, filled in my credentials, which is the username and the password. I'm going to log in. And once you are logged in, you're going to be, um, uh, you're going to see the dashboard where you'll have an overview of updates um, from Brighter Monday and uh, generally which positions. What it will give you a summary of what has been happening in your account. So what you're supposed to do is go up here and click on jobs because you are definitely going to filter through um, the applications that have come through on a particular job that you've posted. So after going through the jobs, after clicking jobs, you are going to click that specific uh, job post that you want to start doing the filtering of the applicants. So you click on that job title and then there'll be an overview page that tells you how many applications you've received and some statistics, all that. Where you're supposed to go is on the next slot that says candidates. So you click candidates and you'll see on that um, category that uh, you have received a certain number of candidates. Um, so that way you can know exactly how many applications you've received. And uh, generally these are the candidates that have sent in the applications and you have not yet begun doing any kind of um, sorting or sourcing of uh, these CVs. So um, there are two things you can do. So on the, on, the, on the very top of your page, you are going to see a layout uh, that looks similar to this, but you have an option of switching a different, to a different layout that can be um, more um, clear or elaborate for you to actually see the features that you want to play with. So for me, I actually prefer to use this um, layout, which is a little bit different. So that layout switch is on the right side of your screen. Uh, so you can first of all filter using the keyword search as I've shown you but also you have several categories below it that includes highest qualification, years of experience, gender, age, language and so forth. So you know your job description way better. You can fill out these categories respectively to what your job description requires or what your job description says and you can actually apply the filter to remain with candidates that have the qualifications that you're looking for. This is the whole purpose of, of building um, in this filter feature in the ATS. So for me, for example, I'll choose um, in highest qualification, a bachelor degree. I want people with one to two years of experience and I want people that can speak um, English. Also, um, but also I would prefer um, I would also look at the availability. So I want someone who is available, let's say in one month's time. Okay. So at the very bottom, I'm going to click apply filter. And you see on the right side of the screen, the number of applications visible have been narrowed down. So from all those, from all that chunk of applications that we had, we've been narrowed down to one specific page with candidates that have the desired qualifications as per the filter options that I've applied. Okay, so now we have a narrowed number of applications that I can simply choose to download their CVs. I can also, let's say, what actions do we have here? So we have download CVs, download profiles, email candidates. So I can actually choose to email all these candidates and write my message or whatever it is that I want to do. So the whole purpose, all in all, I think it's just to show you how to do the filtering and basically it's as simple as this. And once you're done with this, you can simply click back to reset and back we have all the applications that we initially saw. It's very useful because it helps you when you have a chunk of applications. This position, for example, has 491 applications. You know for a fact that some of them are not qualified. So using the filter option, you can actually, it can help you to narrow down to specifics. And that's it from me. And uh, let's see, we'll meet again next time when I show you a different feature from the applicant tracking system. Bye-bye.